Virgos, welcome back to New Kid on the Block Tarot, y'all. If you are new, hey, what's up? Today we're gonna be doing um who's coming towards you next 72. And um full disclaimer, take what resonates with me the rest, y'all. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get started and see who's coming towards you though. Let's see what cards I want to start with. Some of y'all can have somebody that y'all been dealing with coming back towards you. This could be like a um, like a lover. Some of y'all could be like, I don't even sense a full separation from somebody. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody on and off and they making their way back to you. Is that an argument? Can I have that number six? Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Damn. Yep, some of y'all got somebody from the past coming back towards y'all. This is somebody that you looking to heal um issues with. Some of y'all could have kids with this person. Some of y'all could even be married to this person. Or just in a higher level of commitment with this person. Whoever this is, um, Y'all have a really strong bond, a tight bond. So it's like anytime you try to walk away from this person, it don't ever work. Yeah, anytime you try to leave this person, you can't ever go nowhere. It's like, damn, can you let me get some space? No, you can't, Virgo. <laughs> Whoever this person is, it's like every time you try to leave them behind, they're going to always come back to try to fix things with you. Some of y'all could have a son with this person, but that's not everybody, though. Uh, but this is a past life relationship. That's why the relationship between the two of y'all feels so familiar. And feel like, damn, why I can't shake this person? That's why you can't shake them. Okay. Give me more. Give me more. Oh, fuck. Yeah, like I said, whoever this person is, you not getting far because they gonna come chasing your ass the moment you think you finna walk out that motherfucking door and leave them behind. They ain't going for it. You could be like not wanting to talk to this person right now or work on the relationship. You could be kind of like keeping your distance from this person, but they not trying to keep their distance from you. Just to let you know. We're going to be seeing what this person want also, what they want from you. And then we also going to be giving advice on this person. Tell me more about this person. So Virgo will know who it is specifically. Um, you feel like this person is good luck in your life. You, you like this person, Virgo. Why y'all playing with me? <laughs> you love this person. I'm talking about like you love this person. Some of y'all, you could have pushed this person away or just told them to leave you alone. But it's like you still have this strong urge to talk to this person because it's like you really don't want them gone. But you ended the situation with them. But you want to rediscover what um what drew you to this relationship because you really don't want to leave it behind. But you feel like you and this person need to like rediscover yourselves and come back together. You still keep shit of theirs. Like you hold on to they they pictures and shit. You hold on to they draws. Not, <laughs> not they draws, yeah. But some of y'all could be holding on to they clothes and shit. It's like the things that you got in your house. Say if this person sleep over at your house. They probably left all shit there on purpose. They gonna call your ass and be like, Virgo, I left my pen at your house. Can I come get it back tomorrow? And you gonna be like, what the fuck? Your pen? No. 
But that's how this person is. They leave shit at your house so they can have an excuse to come back. Or they just know that you have a lot of shit of theirs. But they okay with it, though. Uh, okay, you feel like this person make fucked up decisions. And that's what's keeping you and this person apart. Because you like, damn, you do stupid shit to me. You don't know how to tell when this person is being genuine with you or not. Sometimes you feel like they lying to you. Or they do anything to get you back or say anything to get you back. Yeah, some of y'all feel like they do or say anything to get you back. But you... You think about this person heavily like it's the memories for you. It's the memories for me. <laughs> it's the memories for you when it comes to this person. Like, they they are fun to you. Some of y'all could have went places with this person. Like, you could have went to, like, concerts with this person or just did a lot of fun shit with them. Some of y'all still watch this person on social media or they watching you. This person could be born in the 90s, but that's not everybody, though. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me get my dick. Some of y'all, they really want to beg your ass to stay with them. Like, seriously. I don't think they letting you go. Tell me more. Some of y'all could have even felt like this person was like using you for your finances. Y'all, y'all get a bad. It's like you don't get a bad feeling about this person, but you not too sure of them it's like sometimes you feel like they genuine and it's other times you like damn what are you with me for yeah some of y'all could feel like this person greedy or they money hungry or just they don't know how to really handle their finances this could be a capricorn or a taurus or another virgo like yourself a lot of pentacles but you feel like this person make bad decisions with their finances and shit too like they um let me y'all do feel like this person just do a lot of um make a lot of bad decisions hmm some of y'all may feel like they a little bit controlling too yeah they causing delays in the relationship and you wanting things to take off fast you like i'm tired of you causing delays in this connection it's either you want to do this or not like if you're gonna work with me we need to make this happen quick and you need to get your shit together you feel like this person hesitating it's like they keep chasing you and you keep having to walk away from them because they don't they don't do right when they get you some of y'all, this is your twin flame. But this person, you feel like they just so, so like they, they balance is just thrown all the way the fuck off. You feel like they overindulge and shit. Maybe they go out a lot or party a lot. And you feel like they text you, they text you and say, um, stupid shit, like emotionally immature. Yeah, you feel like this person is just, par for some of y'all, this person could be paranoid or have some, like, insecurities that they need to work through. And that could be the issue with why they act the way they act towards you. Some of y'all, you could even start to be cold towards this person. Like, you not even answering their calls. And see, when you and this person break up, it's like they go out with their friends. They be thinking about you. But they go out and kick it with their they friends or their peoples or whatever. And you like, 
You supposed to be focused on this relationship. <laughs> she was playing for real. It's, it's a lot of miscommunication between the two of y'all. And again, y'all, your person or whoever this person is coming towards you, keep in mind that they can embody in any sign or they can have like anything in their birth chart. A lot of us have many different placements in our chart. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all could be the ones that's going out and having fun. You could be the one that's like, fuck this, I'm finna go out and kick it. And this person don't like this, so they <laughs> they running back. Yeah, you was patient with this person. Whoever this is, you try to balance the situation out. You try to be patient. And you feel like all they did was brought you drama or all they did was wanted to fight with you. Where if I five of wands? Some of y'all are gonna be real peaceful in the next 72, but you may have like some people that's going through some type of conflict or drama or arguing and shit like that. You may not even see this shit coming, but don't let them pull you into their drama though. Yeah, don't let nobody pull you into their drama. You may not even see this happening. Some of y'all are in y'all winning season and yeah, don't let nobody fuck you over or play with you like that. Y'all got better shit to do. That's a little side note. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Pisces. Mm -hmm. A Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Some of y'all haven't been, um, whoever this person is that's coming towards you, they haven't really been getting much sleep. They've been up in their head thinking about you over and over. They stuck on this relationship because they feel like you they soulmate, like you they person. And they truly want this to work out with you. They feel like y'all gonna um, get back together. Some of y'all, yeah, we got Capricorn. But they, they disappointed you in some type of way. Some of y'all, this person could be having issues at work. And if you thought they were dealing with a third party, if they were dealing with a third party, this is not for everybody, but they have released that situation. If they made a mistake. Oof. Or if they did that shit. Some of y'all this could be a Scorpio. Why is that there? And keep in mind roles can be reversed as well. Or this could also. Uh, yeah roles can be reversed. Yeah, y'all getting ready to uh, communicate with this person. Some of y'all may be communicating with them to whoever this is. You already must have reached out to this person and told them like, look, I'm not happy or I'm disappointed in the way that this shit is going with us. And I want to spend some time alone. Some of y'all could have told this person like, I really want to be alone right now. And it could have broke this person's heart because now they don't know if they're going to get you back or not. Yeah, because they want this opportunity bad. They really want to invest in this situation, but now they feel like you're not fucking with them. Some secret came out or something happened and it made you sad and you just rejected this person. So now they like, I don't feel like I'm going to get um, Virgo back. Could be a Leo, Virgo. Let's see. What does this person want? from Virgo. No, no, not those. What does this person want from Virgo? They want you to commit to them. They want this relationship back. They don't want you to go nowhere. I right, then we got let's try again at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this person ain't letting your ass move. If you thought you was going somewhere, they is not having it.
what's the advice for Virgo? Keep growing and glowing, Virgo. Keep growing and glowing. That's what I got for you. Some of y'all have a lot of good karma coming into your life. So whether you choose to be with this person or not, you still have a level up coming towards you. You still have plans that are going to succeed for you. Don't forget about the things that's happening in your life. Some of y'all, this person may have did some things to make you feel like you wasn't worthy. You are though. You have to remember that you are worthy. You just um, experiencing an awakening right now. You don't have to be ashamed of the things that you go through. Everybody go through shit. Everybody have moments, down moments, up moments, shit. Everybody had that shit. You human. Don't ever be afraid of a situation or what you're going through. If you need to talk to somebody, talk to somebody. But don't forget, don't let a situation keep you down for too long. Sometimes it's best to get it out so you can heal through it and get to your next level that you're supposed to be reaching. Oh, oh, oh. If you choose to love, do it with um, a free heart. That's my advice, y'all. Thank you, Virgo, for watching. I appreciate all my viewers and shit, y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Please hit that like button, double up. Also, subscribe if you're new and turn on that notification bell. Bye, y'all.